and we are back again. Hello, hello. Ah, <sighs> doing the video a little earlier today. We've been feeling quite sore after surfing and training and trying to gain up my weight. I lost also, so it's been a lot of eating. Ah. <sighs> I'm a little exhausted. Let's see here where we are. So we are on day 52 of sobriety. And I thought we're going to do something else for today. Instead of music video, I follow a channel that's name is uh, Psych to go and it's a community for learning more about psychology and mental health and they have 11.9 subscribers and I really like the way they uh, do their videos and uh, the voice who's talking through the, the, the videos and so on and uh, the animated uh, figures in it. I think it's very sweet and very helpful and I'm quite a softy when it comes to a lot of things but animated things seems to be something seems to be something I can relate to. I don't know why. It, maybe from the childhood always like animated movies and so on. And this video's name is to anyone who has lost hope in life. Instead of me just rambling on about what I'm doing in life, we see this one together. And I'm probably going to stop here and there and uh, relate a little on some things because I had has lost hope many times so this i have never seen this one so let's go hey psych2goers we're gonna jump right into the deep end here do you feel like life's not worth living anymore are you at your tipping point every day life may be hard right now maybe even unbearable you may be experiencing trouble at school, at home, with your family, or among your friends. Maybe someone close to you betrayed you, or you feel let down by your lack of progress despite how much effort you've spent. The struggles of everyday life can be all too demanding at times. So this is an open letter to those who have lost all hope in life. So it may not feel like it, but know this. You're not alone. No matter what you're going through, it's possible to find happiness again. It might not. Matter of fact, it probably won't be easy. And you'll probably experience failures and want to give up. But keep trying. You're strong. Didn't get out of bed early today. It's okay. Go easy on yourself and try again tomorrow. Didn't pass the entrance exam at your dream university or get the dream job you've been eyeing since forever, you're allowed to feel gloomy because rejection stings. But know that you're always allowed to rise above it. Life is actually never about the outcomes. For example, remember what it's like having a crush? It was fun daydreaming about them every now and then, but it can be devastating when you confess and realize they don't feel the same way. Some of you may move on quickly, but some may take a little while longer to heal. You may even feel hopeless to ever find someone again. But try to remember that it's not your fault. When you're too attached to the results, you set yourself up for disappointment when you don't get it. And let's face it, there's no way that life will hand its best gifts to you all the time. There's gonna be detours, road bumps, and stop signs along the journey. But once you realize that you can't control the things outside of your control, and you can only control how you respond to these things, you can then start to feel a little lighter and a little happier. You may not notice it much at the start, 
but you will find it eventually. The person you had a crush on may be unreachable now, but that doesn't mean you can't find someone else who isn't. That I just want to stop there. First of all, I wish she could uh, read good night stories for me every night. <laughs> Her voice is just amazing. I just yes yes love her voice but i was thinking about this with failure and it's so important what whatever whatever it is you're trying to achieve it seems to do everything that's really important is very hard to achieve and failure is part of it all it took me so long time to, to, to get into training and understand the mental dynamic to, to, to get it going. And I don't know how many times I promised myself like, ah, tomorrow we start. Yes. And then tomorrow go comes and, ah, I push it one day. And when push it, it, and then push it again. And then suddenly <clears throat> this motivation fades. And suddenly it goes one month, two months, three months. And suddenly, suddenly one year had passed by. And I ended up in the same damn situation again of shit. And if we can, it can be whatever you're going to do. And if you don't do it, it's going to go a year or maybe two and think what you have achieved. If you started that day, you really wanted to start it, you would be finished or far away on your journey. But it's really hard to do these things. And I think it's so important in, in the beginning to accept failure. And just accept that it's just the way it is. Did we give up on trying to bicycle? Did we give, give up on, on taking our driving license? And suddenly when it is things about health uh, in one way or another of changing behaviors, the internal thing is so easy to give up and just push it. But we want that driving license. We want to ride our motorcycle. We want to drive the car blasting music or bicycle or whatever it is. But it's just this, it's going to be failures and failures. But these small rewards are there. If I just look at surfing or golf, is such a long learning curve. But you get these small, small rewards here and there that makes you keep on going, but they will never come if you don't start. So say, for example, you want to start training tomorrow. Instead of starting tomorrow, try to do 10 push-ups and see how many you reach. Because then you already started, it's not a full program, it's not a full workout, but you throw yourself down on the ground and try to do some push up. Is this little step instead of just push it, I do it tomorrow morning. It's so crucial to, to just do it directly and get a little taste of it. Yeah, that's what I want to say. And for me, when it comes to heartbreak, oh, when I growing up, I couldn't take reaction. I could go without rejection. I could go. I could go without for for years. Today, I don't care so much about rejection. You don't want me. You don't want me. I'm not gonna beg you of anything. That's the way it is. We keep on going. But you will find it eventually. The person you had a crush on may be unreachable now, but that doesn't mean you can't find someone else who isn't. That job or school you've always wanted to join may not be accepting you at the moment, but there's always the next one. And if not, then the next one after that. Whenever it feels like the world is weighing you down, please remember, 
you're not alone. There's always hope at the end of the tunnel. The pain and listlessness you're feeling now will eventually fade and you'll grow from the experience. Maybe not the way you once intended, but in a way that pushes you forward. And once you feel like you're slowly picking up the pieces again, which you will, you'll look back and thank yourself for putting in the consistent daily effort to become a better person and for rising above your mind's traitorous beliefs and hopelessness. So what should you do to make your future self happy? Find your larger purpose. Realize you're not alone in your journey. Reach out to your friends for support and work towards your goal day by day. Each step is hard. It might even feel impossible, but we hope you at least try. You may fail, but try again. Fight for yourself. However tiresome it becomes, never let yourself succumb to despair. And after time, your spark will eventually return. Maybe in a way that differs from your expectations, but it will. And a new you will emerge, happier, healthier, and wiser. Allow yourself to rest, but never stop fighting. Whew. <laughs> Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time. I just love this channel so much. And <clears throat> I related to training, but you see, see on my journey of, of, of getting sober, clean or whatever you want to, to call it. It's so many times I just wanted to just fuck this. It's not never gonna happen. It's never gonna fix. I'm never gonna get sober. I will always doing drugs the rest of my life. But it is this consistency of just try, 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 try. And the failure is 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 just that I didn't know better. I, I, I didn't have this information, I didn't have this information, I didn't use this information, I didn't understand that I need to use this information for this particular situation. And on the journey of, 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 of trying so many times, now suddenly I can use these things. And I probably, no, I probably couldn't use it before because I couldn't see it from that, that view. And I think it's so, just don't give up. And I, 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 it's so many times I failed on this road of recovery. I crashed my life so many times. It just makes me, it's is a nightmare. Building up, crashing down, building up, crashing down. This cons that there you have consistency. <laughs> it's a pure pattern of consistent build up, breaking down, build up, breaking down. But now I can see that and I can do something different. But we go back to a bicycle then. Oh, I didn't understand that I need to push my left foot and the right foot coming on the way up and I fall. Okay, then I figure that out and then suddenly the pedals start moving and then suddenly I fall again. Oh shit, I need to concentrate on steering this bicycle also. Not only on my legs, what they doing. And suddenly everything goes by automatic. And the same is with everything. But we just need to get the basics in. Then I know that in, in some self-help group it says, oh, you're starting over again. You don't start over nothing again. 
The only thing you do is in a TV game a computer game then you die and then you start over again but the, also there you know the course now so you know on the on that hill is some sniper sitting so now you know that you know pew. so you learn all the time it's just to f find the courage to not look down on yourself so much every time you fail trying to see that ah i didn't have the right information yet to be able to conquer this step so we gain this knowledge instead and use it and like she said don't you slept in okay try the next day Put the alarm three times instead of one time. Half an hour before, 50 minutes and five minutes before you're going to go out. I don't use my alarm anymore. I wake up by myself because it's just ingrained to, to, to wake up that time because I used the alarm so many times. But failure is part of the journey. And it sucks, I know. And it probably should suck also, but it's also very important to, even if it sucks, don't dig your own grave and bury yourself there. Look at it, acknowledge it sucks, get on, try again. It's very easy to say it, and I know it's super hard to do it, but it gets easier and easier and easier and easier and easier. Yeah. So, if you like this kind of uh, reaction, they have so many good ones about everything. So, we can jump between music and these ones. And they are very, it's no copyrights or anything on these videos so they're very share friendly yeah i think that's all for today so with that say stay strong stay safe and always stay and feel blessed peace